Number 13 then from the 2016 Advanced Air Mathematics of Mechanics. Here we go, just volume of a solid of revolution. It says, a glass bowl is modelled by rotating this curve, e to the power x upon 12, between x is 15 and x is 30, generating that solid of revolution through 2 pi radians. Of course, means it's all the way around, or it wouldn't be much use. A, for three marks, find its volume. Well, the way that works is, if you take a thin disc of width dx, its radius, I shouldn't have drawn it that way really, its radius will be y, so the area of that circle is pi y squared, and the volume of that will be pi y squared dx. Pi y squared dx. So to get the volume of the whole thing, you just add up all of those little disks of volume pi y squared dx. From x is 15 to x is 30, so I'll just put that outside. From 15 to 30, since that's a constant. And that will give you the volume. Right? So it'll be pi times... Now y squared, if y is e to the x upon 12, then e to the x upon 12 squared means double it, that'll be x upon 6. So it's e to the x upon 6 dx. So it's pi times, now that just stays as e to the x upon 6, upon integration, but since it's a function of a function, that's a sixth of x, divide by the derivative, divide by a sixth, which gives you six times it. And that's what needs to be multiple, uh, evaluated from 15 to 30. That's another constant, so that can pop out as well, from 15 to 30. So I've got 6 pi times e to the 30 upon 6, which is 5, and e to the 15 upon 6, which cancels down to 5 upon 2. And that would be it, centimetres cubed, unless you wanted it as a decimal, which gives you 2567.88 and so on. But if it's just one of three significant figures for your answer, that would be 2570 centimetres cubed. And that's three marks. First mark is for this statement. The next mark is for putting all the figures in. I had some of them there already. And this one. And then the final marks for the answer, whichever of them you happen to choose. Now, for part B, a line has to be put in the bowl to indicate when it's half full. Oh, let's just pretend. I know that doesn't look like half full. But pretend that's the half full line. I know it should be further over. So it happens at some point. Call it whatever. Call it A. What's the x coordinate of the line that splits the volume in two? In other words, 15 up to what would give you half of this? So that's all you're doing. You're just going to say, well, the volume of this portion, which goes from 15 to A, of the same thing, of course, so it's pi e to the x upon 6 dx, should come to half of this. No, you could actually just use this. Well, will use this one first and then maybe go back and use that just to see if there's any difference between whenever we do these approximations. So that would be half of that, which is 1, 2, 8, 5. So what does that integrate to then? That'll be pi times 6 times e to the x upon 6 as before. Just evaluate that part because that's just a constant from 15 to a. So you've got 6 pi times e to the a upon 6 minus e to the 5 upon 2 equals 1, 2, 8, 5. There's only the one unknown. So I'm going to do this all in one go. Take that across and divide and take that across and add. So e to the a upon 6 will be... So doing that, dividing by 6 pi and then adding on e to the 5 upon 2 gives 80.354, I'll say. And of course the marks for this part, that would be the first mark for forming an integral up to a certain value that gives you half the volume. The second mark is for getting this equation, getting it down to e to that. And the last mark would be for finding the final answer. So to get to A, there's two things to get rid of. Get rid of the E, so it'll be LN. So it'll be LN, 80.354. And get rid of the divide by 6 from there, which will be 6 times it. So A should be 6 times that, which of course you can just put in as answer. And that gives you 26.318 and so on. So I'll call that 26.3. 
But of course, that's the distance all the way from the origin up to there. The mark would go between 15 and there. So that means the distance you want then. So the distance will be 26.3 minus the 15, which is 11.3 centimetres up. And that gets the last mark. Now you could have, if you wanted, instead of equating it to that, you could have equated it to half of this, which is 3 pi, just to save you using your calculator. This is probably going to be longer though, although, strictly speaking, it's more accurate until you finally press the buttons at the end. So if that's equal to that, 3 pi e to the 5 minus e to the 5 upon 2, then e to the a upon 6 minus e to the 5 upon 2 would be, dividing that out, it's just a half of that. It's a half of e to the 5 minus e to the 5 upon 2. Bringing that across would be plus an e, that minus, that would then make, that's not, that's an e, that would then make that e to the a upon 6 is a half of e to the 5 plus e to the 5 upon 2. Because that minus a half plus the e makes it plus a half. And then finally a would be ln then times 6, 6 ln of a half of e to the 5 plus e to the 5 upon 2. And then you could press the button and get a more accurate answer, which probably turns out to be much the same anyway. So if you press the buttons, you get, and you type all that in, 26.314 and so on. So that's just the same as it was, more or less slightly different there at the end of that. Still 26.3.